And here we have Wave 1 from the Super Mario Brothers movie, which came out last year. Yeah, this line has not done well. It kind of is dead after two waves, and these figures were heavily discounted. So if you bought them already, then you probably got them for a steal. And uh, we're going to open them up and see if they're still worth getting. And here we have the figures from the Super Mario Brothers movie. Half of these figures are really good, and half of them are not so good. The ones that are good are this Mario and Luigi. They are honestly, like, for the price you pay for them, really great figures. They've got good articulation in the shoulders, the legs, the elbows, the head. The realistic eyes, which is something they kind of brag about on the box are actually really cool and they've got almost the effect of they look like they're looking at you from whichever direction you're looking at the figures which is a little creepy but the one thing i wish they had done is given these characters mouths like they don't need to be open mouths just something where there's like a line where he's like smiling or frowning or doing some kind of emotion he just they just kind of look weird without their mouths i don't know why 
And as you can see, one of the issues with this toad is he is terribly off-balanced. It's nearly impossible to get him to stand up unless he's leaning all the way over. And he does have this nifty little uh, hole on the back of his backpack that holds his frying pan, which I think was a nice little clever touch for them. And once you can get him to stand up, he does kind of stand up. But overall, he's kind of, you know annoyingly difficult to pose and you can't really get any other pose out of him once you get his backpack on like this this is it same with peach she has no lower articulation she is just a couple pieces of feet sticking out of a solid bit of plastic here she's got so no legs nothing to articulate there she's just got some articulation in her elbows and shoulders and her wrists and that's it she also has the realistic eyes and she has a mouth at least which it would have been weird to not have her have a mouth since she doesn't have a mustache or a large nose to cover up the fact that she doesn't have one so her not being able to move much is kind of a bummer too there's really nothing super exciting about this figure but like I said, I really do like the Mario and Luigi figures. They've got a lot of movement to them, and I think for the fact you can get them for under $10 when they were in stores, or if you're lucky enough and have like an Ollie's that they're at nearby, you can get them for that price or lower there. I'm not sure if they're under $10 there. They're at least at maximum $10. They may be in their like 5 or 6 or $7 range, but I don't think you pay more than $10. So for that being a price point, I think these figures are great. If you're going to get any of them, definitely pick up these two because they're they're really solid. Like I was really happy when I was getting into them and opening them and I'm kind of stoked for them. These two will probably go in storage if I end up keeping them. I may end up getting rid of them or giving them to somebody. But these two, I think I'm I'm definitely going to hang on to. The only other thing worth mentioning is I kind of really like the box designed. They were clearly a toy line for kids, but the box really felt like it was a collector's focus line, which is strange. The presentation of the figures is really good. The portraits on the side is, I think, a nice little detail. And even on the bottom of the box is being like color coded to the figure that was inside. And the name and the color on the inside of the flap as I was opening them up is, I don't know, it's kind of a fun little packaging detail. So I think what Jack Pacific did with that line as far as like the design of the packaging and, you know, a couple of figures themselves was kind of really well done. I was, I liked it. So that's the unboxing video for today. Here's your hint at the next build video. Try and leave a guess what you think it is in the comments below. Until then, stay safe, happy hunting.